Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am back with another video and this time I'm going to be doing a really, really, really pretty set of acrylic nails on myself. So the first thing that I'm doing is just going in with a cuticle pusher to push back those cuticles. That is going to help with exposing the new growth and help with reducing lifting. Next, I'm going in with my 180 sending band to remove the shine from the natural nail. And when you're doing this, you want to go all the way around the cuticle area and then removing the shine from the rest of the nail. Now, I do want to let you guys know that I'm not going to be keeping this set on because it is going to be the, I'm using the three exhale nail tips and y'all can't do nothing with that. I'm going to break a nail before I finish. So I was just really doing it because one of my clients didn't show up y'all like literally we scheduled the appointment on Sunday night and this was Monday and it was her appointment was for 9 a.m. and she just didn't show up and so I didn't want to leave because I had another client after this so I just ended up staying and I was like you know what let me record a video for my YouTube babies so here I am I just wanted to do something fun, um, but it, like I said, I am doing the 3XL uh, nails on myself. These are my square 3XL nail tips, and y'all, when I say they are perfect, like you literally don't really have to do much filing at all. The shape is already perfect. The length is absolutely perfect for those people that just love the long nails, um, and even if you cut them, they still keep their shape really well. So definitely recommend them. They are available on my website. So I'll be sure to leave the link down below so you guys can go check it out. Um, also, the KDS glue that I'm using works really, really well. Um, and then I did, I don't know if I mentioned, but I did do a top coat, two coats of top coat on my nails. That way I can remove these nails easily after I'm done. Uh, but anyways, now I'm just going in with the primer. I'm using the JCBD Concepts Acrylic System. Um, I'll be using the clear acrylic and then the pink that I'll be using I actually mixed that one up myself I also used that same acrylic on my last video that I posted yesterday and it's just an acrylic that I mixed up on my own um, the brush is the number 16 acrylic brush by alpha brush um, and so with this pink what I did was I literally just mixed pink and uh, or clear mostly clear and then a hot pink acrylic powder together um, and then you just add a little bit more or less depending on how translucent you want the color at first this color was pretty translucent and then I ended up adding um, more pink to just make it a little bit more opaque um, but this is actually a color that my client uh, requested for like a a 90 set that we did i believe and so i just really liked it and i you know decided to use it on myself but i'm just going in and with these nails being so long of course i do have to go in with a little bit more product but for the most part i try to still do my four ball method so doing the first bead right in the middle where the natural nail and the tip meet placing the next bead closer to the tip and then right here that part right there in the middle was still a little bit translucent so i did go in and add another bead right there and just remember that whenever you're applying acrylic you definitely want to work really really gentle i know i say that a lot but y'all it's really important to do that because you don't want to be um just wasting product by placing it and then brushing too hard and then you literally would be brushing all of the product off the nail and then also um like i always tell y'all you want to make sure that you place product wherever you need it so um like i said i did like mess around with this acrylic powder so it was a little bit like like translucent but then it was like a full coverage so i was just going in and adding more acrylic um wherever i feel like it was still a little bit more translucent so i can get that full coverage uh so now i'm just going in and placing that bead closer to the cuticle area placing it as close as i can to the cuticle but not on the actual skin and then just blending it in so i'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on this middle finger so same thing first bead right in the middle where the natural nail and the tip meets 
brushing it down towards the tip. My first, or sorry, my second bead is gonna go right below this one, closer to the tip. Same thing, placing it down, very gently patting it down, and then brushing down towards the tip. And that's pretty much it, y'all. Um, I know it looks super easy, like, well, it kind of looks easy, but y'all, it's really not. Like, applying acrylic is really not that easy. I know a lot of people you know get into doing nails and just by watching videos they think like okay you know this is about to be easy breezy peasy like you know it's about to be easy and then they pick up that first beat in there and then they're like uh what you know like what is this uh, but you do want to take into consideration like you know a lot of us that's been doing youtube we've been doing nails for quite a while so you know we make it look easy but it definitely takes a lot of practice patience and dedication yeah it's been a while since i've said that but yeah it takes a lot of practice patience and dedication and this is something that you're just gonna have to do a million times to perfect it and don't get me wrong you know even though i've been doing nails for a while like it's still a learning process for me especially with like different little techniques coming out like you really have to keep up with the new trends and so you know of course i have to do the same or everybody has to do the same and so when it comes to doing nails like it's something that you just you're just never gonna stop learning it's always gonna be something new coming up but at that point once you get to the point where like you know you know what you're doing everything is just gonna come natural like you'll be able to look at a picture and be like okay you know i know how to do that but like i said it definitely takes some patience so i would suggest you know if you're starting out i would suggest just just basically setting your goals i guess and just saying like okay every day i'm gonna sit down and i'm gonna practice for 30 minutes or i'm gonna do you know 10 practice nails or five or you know i'm gonna um i don't know you know like i said just give yourself like goals and same thing with timing i know i get a lot of questions about timing and when it comes to timing you really like especially at the beginning you really don't want to worry too much about timing because uh you just really want to perfect what you're doing and then once you know all of your steps and you're applying acrylic properly and your nails aren't you know looking a little bit better that's when you can start setting time goals i know for me like i would set a timer and i would try to beat that time every time but you also want to keep in mind that i know for me like the type of nails that i do they're not gonna be like 30 minute nails or 45 minute nails like they would be at the nail salon so it's like when clients come they already know that their nails are gonna take longer than those 30 or 40 minutes so i personally personally book all of my clients for um two hours i used to book them for an hour and 30 minutes but sometimes i feel like i was rushing a little bit and so i just wanted to you know just take my time and do a perfect set each time so i would say two hours is not a bad time at all of course i wish that i could get it back down to an hour and 30 minutes and i've tried um but like i said i for one i don't like feeling rushed and i don't like working under pressure so i just rather go ahead and just you know book for two hours and then if i finish a little bit early then good but if not you know i I'm, i still feel good about my work um but anyways um i'm just going in with the clear now so i'm doing clear on the entire on this finger so i'm just doing the four ball method and y'all when i say this nail was so clear like it was so clear and i really liked it so at the end um i was gonna add like just bling it all the way out and then just it being clear like it just looks so pretty and so i was like no like i gotta let this clear show um as i mentioned earlier this is the jc beauty concepts clear acrylic um i've been using this acrylic brand for a while now and i really really like it i know um 
some people have mentioned that their shipping is starting to take a little bit longer which i'm not sure why i know um one of my subscribers just messaged me yesterday on instagram and y'all i don't play that sh that stuff like i don't got play that so i messaged the owner uh of the company and let them know like hey like look who does she need to contact because she said she's been trying to contact y'all for a while now y'all not saying nothing so like who do she need to contact and so they're able to like uh, she takes me back right away and she was like you know i'm sorry about that like we'll take care of it so you know just know that if you ever have a problem just let me know and you know i'll reach out for you guys um but now i'm going in with a black and white gel polish i'm just doing polish randomly on the nail and then with a cuticle push or not cuticle pusher but with a dot and tool i'm just going in and just mixing the polish around to create a really pretty marble and y'all i love this nail like once i'm done with it you will see how pretty it is but y'all this came out so pretty um just making sure that i kind of drag the polish all around the nail so i'll get a uh a fruit ugh, i can't talk y'all so i can get a full coverage throughout the whole tip and then i am gonna go ahead and cure it but y'all look how pretty that was so same thing on the pinky just doing random um spot of gel polish you do want to make it kind of thick that way you can swirl the polish around um, and for this technique you can use any color that you like but i just feel like pink and white would be really really i mean black and white would be really really pretty with this hot pink acrylic so same thing just mixing it around making sure we have a full coverage on the entire tip and then i'm gonna cure for 60 seconds and then i'm gonna come in and do the ombre Alrighty, so after I finish doing the marble, I'm going in with the clear acrylic, just doing that right over the tip, just to cover up the marble. And then after that, I'm gonna go in with the pink and I'm just gonna ombre it. Um, so right here, you will see how um, the pink is a little bit translucent. So I was trying to go in and just add a little bit more and you will see me going in and add quite a few of the beads uh, or beads of um, pink but it's just because I wanted it to be a good ombre I didn't want it to just be too translucent right there where the pink and the marble meet um, so I'm just going in with small beads of course if I go in with um, too much acrylic then I would end up like basically taking over the marble and it wouldn't really just give us that ombre effect so just like i said going in with smaller beads uh, placing them down and then brushing them down but making sure that i don't brush too far down past the marble because then it will just take away from that ombre effect so after we get a good ombre effect i am going to go in and add you see how right there in the middle where the two me is still too translucent for me so i am going to go in and add another bead right there just to give it more of a full coverage look and so it actually looks like an uh an ombre um so once i get that full coverage that i want then i'm gonna go in and just encapsulate both of them um with the clear but anyways just adding a little bit more to what i was saying earlier about you know nails taking a lot of practice patience and dedication i would just say that if this is something that you're really passionate about or you know something that um you just i mean really enjoy doing um you're just gonna keep going when it seems like it's getting a little bit hard just you know step back and just take a breather and even if you have to just give yourself a break from it for a few days that is completely fine you don't want to burn yourself out you know um so i would just say just take it easy like i said practice a lot um just be consistent and you can only get better you know so i know that it's a lot a lot of people out here trying to get into nails but if you really just put your all into it um of course anybody can do it um another thing that i would say is starting out you definitely don't want to um like 
spend too much y'all i feel like that's what a lot of people try to do starting out and then they end up you know deciding like okay this is not what i want to do and then i see them on instagram trying to sell all their products and y'all like whenever you start out you definitely just want to get your essential products like literally you want to just practice you know your acrylic application at first you want to make sure that the nails are even going to stay on before you start adding all those crystals and charms and stickers and you know all that other stuff you want to make sure let me say that again you want to make sure that those nails are staying on before you start adding all those other you know cute stuff the reason why i say that is because of course you know common sense you don't want to um waste all of your good rhinestones all of your good charms your expensive stickers your nail form i'm, I'm not nail forms um transfer foils like you don't want to let that go to waste whenever you do a set and then and uh, it ends up lifting like the next few days and then the nails come off and then that's it so you want to make sure that you perfect your liquid to powder ratio that the nails are going to stay on they're not going to come off within the next few days um before you start doing all of that and then as far as buying products you want to just start off with literally all you need is clear y'all like to start off doing nails all you need is of course your um you know your monomer you need your clear acrylic powder a gr a really good brush uh, let me say that again a really good brush like when I say y'all, your brush is your most important tool. So you want to make sure that you take really, really, really good care of your acrylic brush. You want to make sure that you're cleaning it after each set. Because if you leave any acrylic in your brush and you let it dry up, it's going to ruin your brush. So you want to make sure that after each set, you set your acrylic brush in some brush cleaner. That way, any product that was left in your brush is soaked off. And then whenever you're ready to use it again, it's going to be nice and clean. So that is definitely super important. Um, you're also going to need, you know, just like I said, your essential products um so your primer your top coat um you know of course a little bit of polish but y'all once again you just want to make sure that at first you just perfect your acrylic application making sure that the nails are nice and smooth making sure that the nails are gonna stay on i know i keep saying that i know that but you really want to make sure they stay on because i know like whenever i first started y'all like it be embarrassing like it really do be embarrassing you know when you do a set of nails you spend so much time on all of the nail art and then your client takes you the next day like hey my nail lifted you know and so it's kind of like dang like i did all of that just for the nails to come off and so i realized like okay let me stop focusing so much on all of the nail art and let me you know just make sure that my client's nails aren't gonna come off in the next day or two um so just keep that in mind i know that it's fun doing the nail art i know i know look i know it is um but you know you could always just practice your nail art um you know just i guess on practice fingers or i mean of course you know like i'm not saying don't do nail art but i'm just saying just spend a little bit more time on the acrylic application at the beginning um but yeah i think I don't know y'all i'm trying to be really encouraging because i know that it's a lot of people out there like myself you know when i first started and so i know that you know just trying to get into something new can be challenging um but i know that you got this like i really do know that you got this and you're gonna be the best at it so anyways here is what the nails look like as you guys can see we have a really nice smooth application uh, we have a nice apex and good thickness so now i'm just going in and just reshaping the nails you want to make sure that whenever you're falling you want to go from the side wall to the free edge so i place my nail file right on the side of the nail and just falling back and forth and just making sure that we have that perfect shape now if you guys can see the nail already you know all of the nails already looked really good before we even start falling um, but we just want to go in and get that perfect perfect shape because after applying the acrylic you will have those little rough edges and so we're really just going in to make sure that 
uh, we redefine that shape. So same thing going on the sides at a 90 degree angle, making sure that we hold that file really straight because if not, we're going to curve or not curve, but we're going to um, round the corners off. So make sure that your file start right there and end at the uh, free edge. And then, like I said, just file back and forth um, of course making sure that as you're doing this that you're steady uh, making sure that the nail file is super straight y'all and y'all when i say it's so hard filing these 3x nails on myself like i don't know how y'all do it i know it's a lot of people out there that do their nails uh, or do their own nails and they do them this long a lot of the time and y'all this is hard like i was over here doing all type of gang signs trying to hold my finger straight like i really wanted to go in there and tell my mom like can you come here and hold my nail so i can file it like y'all it was really challenging but i got it done like they you know <clears throat> look really good so i was satisfied with my shape at the end even just you know even though i was struggling y'all i was really struggling but just find whatever position works for you best and just you know do what you do what you can y'all if you're doing them this long of course when i do them a lot shorter it's definitely a lot easier but look at me y'all like I, i'm like trying to hold my my finger with my thumb and then i'm trying to lean my my ring finger against it and then my pinky just kind of doing whatever it wants the index finger up in the air like y'all just just do what you can but uh, like i said just going in following the sides and a free edge at a 90 degree angle and then we'll move on to the next step Alrighty, so this is what the nails look like after I finish shaping them. I feel like they don't look too bad, y'all, like at all. Like they really look good. So now I'm going in with my Get Nail 32 tapered extra fine drill bed. And of course, just following around the cuticle area, going from the right side all the way over to the left side, going back and forth, and then following the rest of the nail. Now, my nails are really nice and smooth. I don't have any bumps and lumps. So I always try to just focus my filing around the cuticle area. And then, of course, just filing the rest of the nail to make sure everything is nice and even. Um, and then sometimes I go in and file the sides and underneath the nail a little bit if I still see like a little rough edge or anything. But the most important part when filing is just making sure that you file around that cuticle area really really good because if not you will get lifting y'all um like i was mentioning earlier one of the biggest problems when doing nails is trying to prevent lifting and just a little reminder that lifting comes from a number of things like it could either be from not prepping the nail correctly which is really common um not pushing back the cuticles you know not removing the shine from the natural nail that comes with the prepping part also uh when you apply your nail tips too big you can't get lifting because that means that it's going to be a gap somewhere because that nail tip you know is going to be too big if you apply them too big um another thing is not applying the or not using the correct liquid to powder ratio meaning that your acrylic was either applied too wet or too dry also not following the nail around the cuticle area really well with your e-file or your hand file so keep those things in mind just do like a process of, of elimination when you're trying to figure out what's causing your lifting but now i'm just going in with the buffer this is going to get rid of any of the scratches left on the nails from the hand file or the e-file so you want to make sure that you buff those nails really really good and then after i finish buffing all of the nails i'm just going to dust the nails off and then i'm going to go wash my hands and then i'm still going to wipe them off with an alcohol wipe and then we can move on to the nail art
Alrighty, so I washed my hands and now I'm just going to go ahead and wipe them off with an alcohol wipe to get rid of anything else that was left on the nails. And then I really, really like the marble nails. So I want those to be like the, the main stars of my nails. I'm just going to call them that, y'all, because that's the first thing that came to mind. But so I didn't want to do too, too much because I didn't want to take away from those marble nails. So for this ring finger, I'm just going to go in with um, the black gel polish and I'm just going to do a French tip on this. And I just really, really love how that pink looks. And so I, I knew that um, a... I knew that uh, a French tip nail would look really cute. So I'm just gonna do the French tip and then I'm also gonna do some bling. So as I mentioned er way earlier in the video, um, I was gonna bling out the entire index finger, but I really like that clear, y'all. It looks so, so clear. So I was like, okay, no, I want the clear to show. And so I was going to just do like really big jewels, but I was like, no, I kind of don't want that. And then I was like, you know what? Gold would look really cute with the black and the white and the pink. So I decided I'm just going to go ahead and do a top coat. So I'm using the Apray Nail Top Coat and I'm going to do a top coat right over the top. And then um, if you do a top coat underneath the nail, it will just make the nail look a lot more clear. So I'm just doing the top coat underneath the nail as well. And then we're going to cure this for 60 seconds after that i'm gonna go in with some charms so they're gold and then they have a black crystal in the middle of them and these i got from amazon i did um a little video not too long ago like a little reel on my instagram it was like an amazon unboxing and i got those charms um on there so i will add the link down below to my amazon storefront so you guys can go check them out but all of these charms that you guys see in the box underneath me are from amazon i just mix them all together and i just kind of go in the little treasure sh treasure sh day i can't talk treasure hunt hunt wait treasure box hunt there we go treasure box hunt that's what i like to think of my little box as um but just going in and just making sure that all of my charms are nice and straight the glue that i'm using to apply these are is actually my um hard gel it is available on my website and y'all when i say that thing works like it works y'all like i be having a hard time trying to remove those charms once they my clients come back even after four weeks y'all like these charms be staying on good and if you want to see how good they work you can go watch the video from yesterday because i really was struggling trying to get them off but now i just went in and did my gel top coat and i'm gonna care for 60 seconds and y'all look at these nails they look so good like i love the length the marble is just to die for that pink is absolutely beautiful those charms that clear nail y'all like i am really in love with these nails and that shape y'all that shape as always thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe follow me on instagram at getting on 32 and i will see you guys next time